back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. And everybody's favorite asshole, Kobe Covington, has spoken. Kobe Covington is reacting to Darren Till defeating Stephen Wonderboy Thompson at UFC Liverpool. And I gotta admit, this is one of the first things I thought about after the performance. I was like, I wonder what Kobe Covington had to say about that performance, because I know he ain't holding back even if it is Wonderboy. He, and this is what Kobe Covington had to say. Darrell with the sweet game of patty cake to edge out the choir boy. That should catapult him to the catchweight rankings, fat fuck. At Darren Till, we added him too, he ain't fucking around. Hashtag UFC Liverpool, hashtag NerdBash2018. Kobe Covington with the classic reaction. He reacted to Darren Till missing weight as well. That's what he's talking about with these catchweight rankings. Darren Till is a guy that was looking to possibly win um, against Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. And if he could win... It, in spectacular fashion, he could have catapulted himself into a potential title fight in his next performance. But not only did he miss weight, but it wasn't the most exciting fight. Darren Till did win the fight via unanimous decision, scored a big knockdown in the fifth round that probably sealed the deal. But other than that, it wasn't what a lot of people were expecting on top of him missing weight, as I said. So with that being said, he's probably not the next for a title shot. Now, we'll see what happens. This is the welterweight division. As things have to shake out. We've got a champion in Tyron Woods. We've got an interim title fight, I believe, next weekend between Kobe Covington and Rafael Dos Anjos. And the winner of that fight is going to have the interim strap, which means they likely are the number one contender. Now, even though Darren Till just beat Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, who was the number one contender, now since he missed weight and he, you know, barely edged out the fight in a lot of people's eyes. Some people thought Wonderboy won the fight. Um, I mean, in my immediate reaction, that's how I felt a little bit like Wonderboy got robbed a little. I thought it was at least going to be a split decision, maybe even a draw. I'll tell you this much. When you look at Stephen Wonderboy Thompson's past fights and his first fight with Tyron Woodley, this fight felt a lot more like a draw for Wonderboy than that Woodley fight, right? But either way, man, Darren Till got his hand raised at home. You know, he's a, um, got a bright future in the welterweight division, but he had to pump the brakes a little bit. So Kobe Covington's responding. Um, and Kobe Covington, of course, is going to have, you know, something slick to say, right? That's his game. I forget. I was going to do a video on what he had to say about Darren Till missing weight. But, you know, yesterday was my fucking anniversary and shit. And ain't nobody got time for that. But with that being said, what do you guys think about Kobe Covington versus Rafael Dos Anjos? It's coming up at UFC 225. Kobe Covington ranked number three, I believe. Rafael Dos Anjos ranked number two. Two of the best welterweights in the world. Rafael Dos Anjos, former lightweight champion, coming up to welterweight. He's looked great all the way till now. He just beat uh, Robbie Lawler, and now he's going to be facing Kobe Covington. Um, but it's going to be a tough matchup, though, because Kobe Covington is an All-American welterweight wrestler. Bad matchup for a lot of guys in the UFC. Hell, if he gets past this fight, Tyron Woodley could have a problem on his hands. You know, just because Kobe Covington talks a lot of trash doesn't mean he's actually weak. You know what they say, usually the guy that talks the most trash or the loudest guy is the weakest in the room. I don't know if that's the case with these fucking powerhouse wrestlers who just got a mouth on them. You know, like Chell Sonnen and Kobe Covington. Yeah, Chell Sonnen talks a lot of shit, but when it comes down to it, if Wender, Wender lays in his face, Vander lays in his face, he'll fuck around and take him down, as we saw in their little face-to-face -face confrontation uh, in The Ultimate Fighter, and then they fought in real life. Kobe Covington talks a lot of trash, but right now, I believe he's three in, right in a three-fight winning streak. He's only lost one time in the UFC, and now he's going to be fighting for an interim title fight. So a lot of people are going to be rooting for Kobe Covington to get knocked stiff, I know, but we'll see how that fight goes. Honestly, I'm excited for it, and it's the second title fight on the card. Other than that, man, let the full-time family know what you think about Kobe Covington's um, thoughts on Darren Thompson, Darren Till versus Stephen Wonderboy Thompson in the comments. I'm out. And as always, thanks for checking out this video. If you want to join the notification gang, make sure you hit subscribe and also hit the bell next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. And if you want to help this channel reach its full potential, consider hitting the PayPal link in the description or going to patreon.com slash full-time MMA and becoming a patron. I'm out. This is number one bullshit.